It was good, everyone. Welcome back. Today, I'm bringing the 600 LT to CPA Performance, and we're going to get a stock baseline dyno. So as a lot of you already know, I had the Klein and EMC downpipes in the car with 100 HJSL cats, but I took those out. I put the stock cats back in because I needed a stock baseline number. I wanted to see what this car is putting down out of the box. For 2021, I actually do have a lot of plans for the 600 LT. I mean, it's pretty much already perfect, but that's what EMC is about, right? Just making things your own. And I think that's what the beauty of car mods and car tuning is. For me, uh, I will be doing more power mods to this. That's why I'm here at CPA again. I have the Novatech Entronic ECU, which is a plug and play ECU. I will be putting back the Klein Innovation and EMC downpipes with the HJS 100 cell cats. And Klein Innovation is making EMC a full straight pipe for the rear section. That does away with the valves. So hopefully it'll be a little more lightweight and we'll add a little more power and obviously the sound will be a lot more aggressive. So we will get that going next time, probably in another vlog. The car, I have already touched it up a little more. Uh, I put in the KW height adjustable springs. I wanted to lower just a tad bit. The spring rates are a little more aggressive and the center of gravity is lower now. So it should hold the car even more. But I do have plans. I am thinking about changing the wheels and we will have a big announcement. You know, I want to have some more contrast to this car. These wheels are sexy as but, you know, I want to have something a little bit different, a little bit out there for this car. So stay tuned for that. And I did put on some front carbon fiber canards because I really love the way the 620R looks. It just looks super aggressive, super track oriented. And that's what the 600 LT should be. I think that it was missing that one final touch in the front. Obviously I have the P1 style hood, but hey, those carbon fiber canards just look so badass. It had to be on the car, so check it out. We're gonna get the dyno started right now, so let's see what it's gonna put down. I'm expecting at least 535 horsepower to the wheels. It has to be on ESC off. So there is no dyno mode that I know of. When I dyno the 570S, we had to shut off the ESC. It's going to run on four wheels, although it's a rear wheel drive, but it has to be done on a four wheel drive dyno. So we set that up already and the CPA guys are ready to go. So let's see how we do. So we just did two dyno runs. Man, that car is so loud, even on a stock exhaust system. When it downshifts, you can just see it pop and all the flames come out. Now, I heard that McLaren gave the ECU an upgrade. Well, not a real upgrade, but basically this car is not really able to shoot and just spit flames anymore. But it still does a little bit, just not as crazy as crazy as it was back in 2019. I guess they didn't want all the 600 LT owners to keep fucking around with the engine and just, you know, keep roasting marshmallows or whatever it is that people do. But I still saw some flames. Pretty cool, it still spits fire. But hey, the good news is this car is super healthy. We got 544 to 545 at the wheels. I don't want to say that McLaren is claiming less than the actual power output, you know, Every car is different, every dyno is different, and you have to account for the drivetrain loss. So I'm gonna give a general range, all right? 10 to 15%. Uh, most people will probably use the 12 to 15%, uh, but if it's rated at 592 horsepower or 600 PS, then 
whatever we got around 544 to 545 with 10% drivetrain loss, that equates to 600 horsepower. But if we use 12% or 15%, you know, that's, that's way more than 600 horsepower. So very, very healthy. I'm very excited. And um, the torque, we got 610 both runs, Newton meters of torque. That is roughly on par with the stock numbers. So there you have it, everyone. You know, so my guesstimate was 535 and I beat the 535. So I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back. Good job, Sonny, I'm pretty smart. We're gonna take the car off the dyno now. We're gonna let the car cool and just chill out. And hey, we're ready for power mods, finally. And I'm gonna make sure that you guys get to follow along with the power mods. So stay tuned, everyone, literally. Get boosted. See you on the next one. Peace.